Welcome to this quick guide of navigating the menus and settings of the Mini Arc Make uh, 220 Auto Welder. Before we dive in, I would uh, share my personal experience. So far, I've only used the automatic mode, and I can't stress enough uh, how beginner friendly it is. Even for non welders like myself, it's incredibly easy to start welding and achieve perfect results right away. I, I would say that uh, this makes the Mini Arc MIG an excellent choice for beginners or perhaps also occasional welders. Now, let's look at the control panel. You'll see a display screen, two adjustment knobs and several buttons. Or only two buttons. To switch between the auto and manual modes, um, then we can press the adjust the mode selection button. There are three modes, Auto, Manual 1 and Manual 2. I have not yet investigated the differences of uh, why there are two manual modes. Perhaps uh, someone can explain that uh, in the comments below. In Auto mode, you will see the material thickness and weld shape indicators. In Manual mode, you only see the wire speed or the way of feed speed and voltage. In, au in auto mode uh, use the left knob to adjust uh, the welding power based on um, the material thickness. The right no knob adjusts the arc length. It goes from 9 to minus 9. Not sure, not sure, um, yeah it's only a scale so I usually use it at uh, zero. I get yeah perfect results for that. So if we go back to manual mode, uh, in manual mode the left knob adjusts uh, the wire speed. As you can see it increase five six uh, yeah. While the right uh, knob adjusts voltage. We can go down to. Yeah, perhaps, I'm not sure how far below, I'm, I'm not familiar with the, old, with the manual mode, but um, we can crank it down to, yeah, 10 volt. So if we go back to auto mode, in auto mode you also can adjust the material thickness, as you can see. It changed the millimeter for the left mode. As you turn the knob, you see the thickness also of the in the display. Let me see if I crank it up. You see it gets thicker in the display. Yeah, and that's allow you to to uh, match your workpiece. To change the material type in auto mode then you can also check and press the material button. You can cycle through steel which is this now FE stainless steel it says uh, SS uh, aluminium and also QC options. The display will show the selected material. It's important to note that uh, the auto mode is optimized for 0.8 mm wire. If you're using 0.6 mm wire, you'll need uh, to set uh, the thickness higher than the actual sheet thickness you are welding. For instance, if you are welding 1 mm, let's see, set it to 1 mm, for, this is for 0.8. Um, and if you have a 0.6 mm wire, you might set the thickness to yeah, 1.1 or 1.2. Conversely, for 1.01 mm wire, set the thickness lower than the actual sheet thickness. So this adjustment compensates for the difference in the wire diameter and ensures proper welding power. Remember, the display shows real-time welding parameters during operation. Um, this will change then when you're actually welding. 
not that you actually can see it because you have a welding mask on it but um, yeah so that covers the the basic uh, of changing materials and modes of your mini arc mig welder including how to adjust for wire speed wire size with its user user friendly automatic mode you see the you'll be welding like a pro at in no time yeah so i will really recommend this uh, machine i included also a link to campus website for more information and some links where you can purchase this welder however i don't receive any money or act as a salesman for Campy. this is solely out of my own interest and satisfaction with the machine so th thanks guys or girls happy welding